Ever wondered why the Triceratops, one of the most recognized dinosaurs, had three horns and a massive skull? Ponder no more, for today we embark on a journey back in time, to the era of these prehistoric behemoths. We'll examine their distinctive features, from the towering horns to the formidable frill, and reveal how these adaptations served as the ultimate defense mechanism. So hold on to your curiosity, tighten your seatbelts, and prepare for a fascinating adventure. Stick around as we unravel the fascinating anatomy of these prehistoric giants. Triceratops, the three-horned face, is a marvel of nature's defensive design. This dinosaur, which roamed the Earth millions of years ago, was a masterclass in biological fortification, and its anatomy was the key to its survival. Let's start with its most distinctive feature, its skull. The Triceratops had one of the largest skulls of any land animal, measuring up to 10 feet long. This massive skull housed three horns, two large ones above the eyes and a smaller one on the snout, hence its name, Triceratops. These horns were not just for show, they served as formidable weapons against predators. Behind the horns was the large bony frill. This shield-like structure was made of solid bone and extended over the dinosaur's neck, acting as a protective barrier. The frill also potentially served as a means of communication or display within the Triceratops community. Now, let's move to the body. The Triceratops had a massive barrel-shaped body similar in size to an elephant. This size gave it the strength and stability it needed to withstand attacks, and finally, the legs. The Triceratops had short, sturdy legs, much like a modern-day rhinoceros. These legs provided the power and stability needed for charging at threats or defending its territory. The Triceratops, with its unique anatomy, was a walking fortress designed for defense and survival. Now that you have an overview, let's delve deeper into the specifics of the Triceratops anatomy. Understanding the Triceratops anatomy requires a closer look at its distinct features. So, let's dive right in. The most striking feature of the Triceratops are its three horns, hence the name, which is Greek for three-horned face. These horns were not just for show, they were formidable weapons. The longest horn, located just above the nostrils, could reach up to three feet in length, Imagine the damage that could inflict on a predator. Now let's move on to the frill, that large shield-like structure extending back from the skull. This frill was made of solid bone and served as an effective guard for the Triceratops' neck against attacks. It also likely played a role in communication and courtship, making the Triceratops a fascinating study of nature's multifunctional design. And then we have the massive body of the Triceratops which could grow up to 30 feet long and weigh up to 12 tons. This immense size, coupled with short, sturdy legs, made the Triceratops a tough target for any would-be predator. The legs, in particular, were designed for stability and strength, ensuring the Triceratops could stand its ground when under threat. So you see, every part of the Triceratops' anatomy was designed for defense. From its three horns, to its frill, to its massive body and short legs, Every feature played a crucial role in protecting this magnificent creature from the dangers of its world. The Triceratops, a dinosaur that was more than just a three-horned face. Its robust anatomy was a testament to nature's defensive design. The massive skull, the sturdy frill, and of course, the iconic trio of horns. Each feature had a specific purpose. These weren't just adornments but crucial elements that contributed to the Triceratops' survival in a world full of predators. Such intricate design truly reflects the wonder of nature. Next time you see a Triceratops, remember it's not just about the three horns, but a marvel of nature's defensive design.